Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, April 3rd, 2023. The tarot card for today is the Nine of Pentacles, and this one comes to us from a favorite deck of mine, the Everyday Witch Tarot by artist Elizabeth Alba. You can follow her on Facebook under Elizabeth Alba Illustration or on Instagram at e.alba.art. Probably one of the most uh, popular tarot decks out there right now. Anyway, you know, this card, this Nine of Pentacles, the image itself is something I want to speak about today. But I've been waiting for the Nine of Pentacles to come out to talk to people about a subject I normally bring up and ask who of you out there has seen the uh, Yellowstone prequel, 1923, starring Helen Mirren and Harrison, Harrison, can't even talk, Harrison Ford. All right. Clara Dutton, the character that Helen Mirren plays, she really embodies the spirit of the Nine of Pentacles in part. And I, I think that this is where so many people fail in relationships, which is why I want to bring it up. Here you have a woman in 1923 when women didn't even have, you know, squat for rights, okay? And yet she was very strong, very independent, and very much in love with her husband. And he was treating her as an equal and supportive of her. So the independence that this card represents. Sometimes people get the feeling that I'm trying to say that, you know, you have to be good all on your own. And you do. You have to know who you are. This is about identity, standing up for yourself. And if you get the opportunity to watch this show and see what a strong female character this is, you'll know what I'm talking about with this card. How one can be such a good you know, female role model, a wife, and yet be this fiercely independent person who, you know, can take care of themselves. And it counts for a whole, whole lot, no matter what era you're living in. Now, the other thing here is obviously the image itself. You know, our witch, she has her feet up. She's taking a little break. She's got all of her comforts. She has everything she needs. Her bottle of wine, her trusty cat on her shoulder. Looks like mine. Mine always stands on my head. But, you know, it's like, what makes you feel complete? We all have a different version of that. That's about our identity. What makes us feel comfortable? What do we call to us that we need in our world? We have a little earth energy going on today to go along with our card. The moon is in Virgo, and Mercury is moving into Taurus. Unfortunately, this is where it will also retrograde and bring an end to our retrograde-free zone that we've been enjoying for a while now. But, you know, again, Taurus wants you to have those pleasures in life, those things that make you feel good. There is a tendency when Mercury moves into Taurus, to slow down a little bit. So I like this depiction, putting your feet up. Yeah, it's Monday. Is that actually possible? You never know. What is interesting to note in this time frame happening today is a square between Mercury and Pluto, right after Mercury moves into Taurus. Um, there's an awful lot going on, you know, globally in the news and all that right now. And I, I think to be too forceful with one's words, because these two, yeah, there, there's definitely something happening here. And of course, some people will not heed this. So we will watch it play out in the things which they say. But I want us all to concern ourselves with our own selves. What makes us feel good? What makes us feel whole? What makes us feel independent? And like I said, independence is about not about not wanting anyone else in your life or not needing anyone else in your life. It's being able to have people in your life 
and still be the individual you know you are and not losing yourself in any relationship where you forget who you are. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.